Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail, it's extremely cold here. We're in the middle of winter. And so I thought I would show you some of the other photos that we took on a photo shoot we did a few days ago for this video. And it was about seven degrees outside and we took a few uh, photographs and we were only on, on our porch for a few moments because it was so cold, but I thought you might enjoy those. Uh, today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite snow day movies to watch and uh, because I thought since everyone at least on the East Coast where I'm at uh, is inside it's a great time to catch up on films and TV shows uh, I'm gonna talk about one series that we've been really enjoying lately before I get into the physical media and that is Lovecraft Country and it's on HBO and HBO Max and so um, we've really been enjoying this it's very creative the cast is great the writing is great so if you get a chance, if you have HBO to check that out, I highly recommend it. It's really good. My wife and I are really enjoying it. We're only two episodes into it. We don't know if there's going to be a season two. We, we would love to see a season two already. We can tell. Uh, we don't really binge watch too many shows, but this is definitely one you could binge watch. Just You just want to see what happens next. So that's one we really enjoy. I'm going to show you a few titles here that I've been enjoying or that we've been enjoying uh, or that can recommend uh, for the for this kind of wintry cold uh, time where you can't go outside uh, as much and the first one I'm going to talk about is this one Knives Out um, this is just a great movie uh, and it, it kind of gives you a, a kind of a cozy feeling it's a, it's an atmospheric murder mystery type movie highly recommended it. it's great it's almost like reading a good book in the winter time uh, so this one we really enjoy and highly recommend this one happens to be a 4k you can see the cast on here, what a stellar cast for this movie. This is a great one to watch. Um, at, least, at least we enjoy it in the winter time. The next one is a perfect winter film. This is a Stephen King movie, Misery. Of course, if you've seen the movie, you know that it takes place in the winter. And very scary movie. Uh, and so sometimes we'll watch a horror movie in the winter time as well. This one has a lot of extra features. This happens to be the Scream Factory release, but it's got a, um, an interview with a director uh, new interview with the special makeup uh, effects artist, audio commentaries, lots of extra features on this one. Really great story. James Caan, uh, Kathy Bates, really, really good. And I uh, believe she won an Academy Award for this one as well. So uh, this is just a great movie we, that, that we really like a lot. The next one is, uh, I noticed especially in the wintertime, I really sort of have a longing for summer and uh, music. I love music. I'm a big music fan. We love to go to concerts. Obviously, we can't do that right now during the pandemic, but this is one that I really like. This is called Move Me Brightly, and it's a documentary concert film celebrating Jerry Garcia's 70th birthday, and there's the back of that one. This was recorded uh, in a studio, and there's a lot of special guests on here, too. A lot of great performances, a lot of uh, uh, Grateful Dead uh, songs, classic versions of these songs. Um, so this one is really great. Sometimes I'll put on a concert film just because I really um, have a longing for uh, summer concerts. And uh, since we can't really enjoy those right now, this is great to watch at home, especially during the wintertime. The next one is a movie that I recently watched uh, and I really liked it. I had seen it many years ago. This is the Vim Vendors film Paris, Texas. And of course, no list would be complete here without a Criterion Collection edition of a movie. There's the back of that one. Uh, this is a, just an amazing film. I really enjoyed it. I feel like I watched this one in particular or was drawn to it because uh, the, uh, the action takes place in Texas and California, and it's very warm. There's a lot of desert scenes, as you can see here on the front cover. Uh, this is uh, Spy Number 501. It's the movie from 1984, Vim Vendors again. Uh, this is just an amazing film. I really enjoy it. I love all the colors in this movie. The performance by Harry Dean Stanton is simply amazing. This is really a hallmark film for him if you like Harry Dean Stanton. But uh, Nastasha Kinski is in it. Dean Stockwell is in it. I was watching one of the supplements also where Vim Vendors had mentioned that Dean Stockwell had given up on acting and, and had gotten his real estate license when he was found for this movie. And he's really great in it. Uh, kind of a road picture, but also just a, like a father-son uh, picture. This was done in collaboration with a playwright by the name of Sam Shepard. And in the supplements, he talks about having uh, just a synergy with uh, Sam Shepard and basing a lot of the movie on this book, The Motel Chronicles. Uh, Sam Shepard, of course, was a playwright. Many, many 
you wrote many, many plays, but this is a great book also if you get a chance to pick it up. This has uh, shorter stories and poems and things like that, and you can really see how the film Paris, Texas was drawn from this book and his collaboration with uh, Sam Shepard. So I really enjoyed the watch, uh, especially with the cold weather here, because you see California, you see Texas, you see so many uh, you know, uh, landscapes that are out west that just make you feel a little bit warmer, which is great. Um, next one is a movie that my wife and I really enjoy, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This is a remake uh, with Ben Stiller, and this is kind of an, event, an, um, an adventure movie, and we really like this one. Uh, and again, this is the kind of movie that, as an adventure, kind of pulls you away from being stuck inside and watching the snowfall. Of course, it's great to watch the snowfall as well, but this kind of, as an adventure film, kind of takes you out of that and really you can really get lost in this one. So we really like this one a lot. The next one is one of my favorite Bill Murray movies, St. Vincent, if you haven't seen this one. I really like this one. I really love his characterization in this movie. And we're also drawn, in the wintertime, we're really drawn to comedy movies as well, kind of feel-good movies or coming-of-age movies. And this is kind of one of those as well. Very unique story. Great performance by Bill Murray, uh, one of my favorite actors of all time. And so we really like this one as well. Oh, this is a great one as, um, also. So this one uh, always makes us feel a little warmer. Castaway with Tom Hanks. Uh, what, a, what an amazing performance from Tom Hanks in this movie. We, we're big uh, Tom Hanks uh, film fans. And so... This one is great to watch, obviously, take, obviously taking place on an island. Uh, of course, not the best circumstances because he's a castaway there, but uh, you can definitely see the ocean. It's warm. So this is another one that can kind of pull you away from the cold days of wintertime. Another, I'm sure this is going to be on everyone's, well, not everyone's list, but maybe a few people's list, but also The Shining, another Stephen King horror movie that also takes place much of it in the winter time as you can see the little winter scene down below there if anyone remembers the end of the movie and this is another movie that's a that's a again a horror film uh, takes place in a cabin we all have a little bit of cabin fever at this point um, and so the shining is a perfect movie for the winter time at least for us Another coming-of-age story, which we recently picked up, my wife and I have seen, uh, from the producers of The Fault in Our Stars, Love, Simon. This is a coming-of-age story, kind of a lighter film as well. So what I tend to do is watch maybe a few serious films, and then we watch more comedies and lighter films as kind of a way to balance that out. So Love, Simon is a great movie. This one is a, uh, I mentioned this in a recent haul video as well. This was a Target exclusive. Not sure why it was on Amazon, but we did pick it up from there. It's got audio commentaries, uh, deleted scenes, etc. This is just a great movie. Uh, it has some uh, uh, funny moments, uh, some very uh, poignant, uh, serious moments as well. We love this film. And finally, I'm going to mention a, a movie that, that I probably talked about quite a few times on the channel, perhaps in some lists, but this movie we probably watch a couple times a year. It's uh, Little Miss Sunshine, uh, and this stars Steve Carell, um, Alan Arkin, one of my favorite actors as well, and uh, Tony Collette, uh, Paul Dano, uh, Abigail Breslin. This is just a really great movie. We we get a lot of laughs. This one also has a good mix of comedy and drama, if you like that. Um, this uh, movie, we also have uh, many special features. There's a gag scene. There's On the Road with the Hoovers, the making of Little Miss Sunshine featurette, uh, Who Are the Hoovers uh, featurette, uh, four alternate endings with director's commentary, uh, screenwriter's commentary, etc. So this is just a great movie. Again, kind of a feel-good movie. Sunshine is in the title. We don't see a lot of sunshine in the wintertime here. When we do, it's just amazing to see. So this is one of our absolute favorite movies. My wife and I love to watch this one. And again, we watch it a couple times a year. So this is the perfect time to watch this movie. It's also a road picture. It's warm. <laughs> so we're definitely drawn to those uh, types of films. So let me know in the comment. That's going to do it for the uh, 10 movies that I pulled for today that we generally watch during the winter or are drawn to in the wintertime. 
Uh, let me know what you like to watch in the wintertime, especially when you're inside a lot. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite for the winter. Do you go back to Christmas movies sometimes? Do you watch more serious films? Do you watch comedies? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always open for new recommendations and new suggestions. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, click on like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.